So this video, I'm teaching the Constitution to a group of eighth grade students. And so you're just going to hear me talking about key ideas contained within the Constitution. Okay, so for this, right, we have Constitution. So a list of basic laws to set up a government. So the U.S. Constitution, this sets up our government. That's a sample sentence that can be used. Kind of understand a lot of countries have their own versions of the Constitution. Like they might have some similarities to the United States Constitution but there might also be some key differences there. Okay, so when you think federal government, this is like uh, where people are meeting in Washington, DC. So you have the president, you have the Congress, both the House of Representatives and the Senate, the Supreme Court. So they're making decisions for the whole country as opposed to a state government that's just making decisions for that specific state. Okay, so that's the key difference. Or federal government. Okay, so republic country. here. State republic government is a type of government state. where citizens are elected. Okay, so citizens vote, they elect representatives. The idea is that those people then represent everyone else. Okay, the U.S. is a republic because people vote for their representatives. Okay, now the U.S., we say that we're like a democratic republic. There's a level of democracy as people vote for their representatives, and then the representatives are the ones that make the laws. Okay, so we are a democratic republic. You can think president of the United States. So that's the top person in the executive branch. And then you have all these people in the president's cabinet. So you have like secretary of defense, secretary of education, secretary of health and human services. Okay, you have all of these different positions within the executive branch. All these different positions within the executive branch. Okay, so the judicial branch, this is a branch of government that gets to interpret laws. The Supreme Court, that's the top, basically the top group in the judicial branch, they determine if a law is constitutional. So for example, if you had a state that created a law in the future that said uh, people cannot protest, that could go to the Supreme Court where the Supreme Court will then say, no, okay, that's so not again, to ratify means it's to, in vote, the, to approve something. It's in the First Amendment that okay, people so do have the right to peaceably assemble and protest. Okay, they've added a bill of rights to the Constitution so that the people would ratify it. So they added that so that the people would approve of the Constitution. You could have Congress try to impeach the president or like remove them from office if the president's violating laws. So again, checks and balances, it's designed to prevent just one group or one person from having too much power. Okay, it's designed to prevent one person or group from having too much power. Okay, you could also have uh, a president, let's say there's a law that they vote on. The president could veto it, which means like the law is not going to pass unless a higher percentage of Congress then goes and votes on it. They need okay, like now a, also they need a uh, lot of people yeah, to the vote on it to make it a said, veto They would need two thirds bill. majority to vote on it if the president vetoed a bill. Okay, now going to unconstitutional. So unconstitutional, this means to not agree with the constitution. So the Supreme Court can decide if laws are unconstitutional. Okay, the first amendment guarantees people to have freedom of religion. So if hypothetically one state made a law saying everyone in the state needs to be like Catholic or needs to be Muslim, if they tried to force people to be a specific religion, the Supreme Court could then say like, no, that's unconstitutional. It violates the First Amendment. And they could then say like that law, it doesn't apply. OK, so that's what we mean by unconstitutional. It means a law that goes against the Constitution, a law that goes against the Constitution.